Okay, today we're going to be looking at high fidelity normal maps. So I'm only going to give you an example of how to produce a high fidelity normal map. We're going to take the tiling equation out of it because it takes too long. But we're going to be looking at something that uh, would be high fidelity. And high fidelity just means that there is a large change between um, the height in Z to produce a normal map. So let's say if it was brick, brick would go really deep into a Z factor. Um, I got walls though, hold on. I got something that's even deeper than that. Yeah, like this. This has a high fidelity. So you can see in here in these cracks, between the crack and the surface of the rock, that is a high fidelity between the two. So we're going to be looking at how to do that. Again, I'm going to take the tiling thing out of equation because I don't want to deal with it. So let's go and take this into GIMP. Yes, GIMP. And I'm going to take it and close out all if I have anything open and do just like that and I'm just going to paste okay there is a the high-res version of that picture I'm only going to be using GIMP you still need Photoshop in order to do the rest of it but for right now I'm going to take this there's my layers and what I want to do is duplicate this layer. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this four times. Plus one being my master layer. Okay. All right. So the idea here is the top one stays the same. The next one down, I'm going to end up blurring this. I'll blur it once. That might be a little strong, so let me undo that. So I'm going to blur this one too. Okay. In this one, I'm going to blur that twice. Okay. And this last one, I'm going to blur like three times or four. There we go. Okay, so for the top one, and you can keep doing that. The more times you do it, the better. Um, and you'll get more and more depth in your normal maps. So for this one, for instance, I'm going to go map, normal map. And I'm just going to do a 3D preview of this to check to see if I got the cracks right. See how the cracks are actually extroverted. So I'm going to not invert Y. And there we go. That's what, exactly what I want right there. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK to that one. It doesn't look right here though. So let me undo that one more time and invert Y. So they should look like cracks. That's correct. Okay, so there's one. I'm going to do that to the next one down. I'm going to do that to the next one down. And one more time. Okay. 
Good. I'm going to save this whole mess as a Photoshop file and go into Photoshop. So unfortunately you still need Photoshop in order to do the rest. GIMP does not handle uh, a couple features. So you can save these as Photoshop files right out of GIMP. And we'll call it High Fidel Example. I'll stick this in color bake. And then I'm going to open it in Photoshop. That is not a Photoshop file. That is some weird, goofy GIMP file. Hold on. That's why I love this document or this program so much. It is free, and if you can get used to its quirkiness. I guess it's all right, but um, yeah, I like my Photoshop. I just wish Photoshop had a NVIDIA normal map generator. For Mac, it does not, so that's why I have to use GIMP. Okay, so here's what we got. Here's level one. Here is level two. Here's level three, and here's level four. Okay, now it gets blurrier and blurrier. Well, what I'm going to do is take my first one and capture some of the color in the blue region. Okay, so I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool, grab some blue, go down here, make a new layer, and fill that with that blue. Okay, I'm going to set the top one to overlay. Next one, overlay. Next one. You can see these bright blue things appear where, see this blue right here and this pink? That's stating that it's a, it's a very high map. All right, good. Now I do like to um, fix these up a little bit. First off, what I like to do is take it and filter, sharpen, unsharpen mask. And I'll say this is about 11%. Okay, the next one down, filter, sharpen, unsharpen mask. This one's going to be a little bit different. Can go maybe halfway. And this one, filter, sharpen, unsharpen mask. I want this almost full. and the next one down the same. All right, well that's that's really, really high fidelity. Look at that. Nice, right? Uh, again, this is what it looked like before. Okay? And this is what it looks like after you add all the other layers. Nice. Uh, the last thing I like to do for each one of these layers is go in and do a levels adjustment and kill all the dead pixels and murdered those pixels yeah and this is the boring part of watching these videos is me just killing pixels. I mean, it's not like I'm actually physically doing any labor here, but it is boring to watch. I agree. Now, all this could be done in GIMP. What cannot be done in GIMP that I've ever found is this next step. Double click it and uncheck blue. So I'm not going to calculate blue 
for any of these maps. Why? Well, you've seen the blue in the histogram is all jacked up. And calculating them across would not be good. Another thing you could do is choose different levels of opacity. Take, for instance, one of these might be too high fidelity, or, and you can take and turn these down. So just keep in mind there's a lot of tweaking here that you can do. Well, let's take a look at this. We'll look at it in the next video on what this did for us.